the two big takeaways I have is that there's new gate technology in these 18A chips, which is, I think, ultimately going to be a big deal. You know, if you think back about 10 years, I remember having conversations with Gordon about how excited he was about FinFET, which was yep. the a, a new kind of gate that is a vertical gate instead of embedded flat in the in the CPU. The 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 via the thing that goes through the gate, the, the wire that goes through the gate was a vertical fin that came up out of the CPU substrate and then or was carved out, I guess. And then the gates kind of went around it in an arch. So. Yep. But those gates only covered about half or two thirds or some percentage. It, they weren't all the way around. So there was some leakage back into the substrate of the of the die with the new ribbon fat stuff, which they're rolling out with this CPU. The gates are entire. The wire, the vias are entirely enclosed with the gate. So they theoretically should have less signal leakage, which lets you do higher speeds and more voltage and things like that to get more performance out of the same kind of basic silicon stuff. It sounds like a win-win if they actually pulled it off. Uh, and from here, and Intel talk about it, like they do, like I wasn't at this event, but just in the past, they do consider this to be a big shift, step forward in technology, just like FinFETs were. Yeah, so. ex explicitly, uh, Stephen, Stephen Robinson, who's the x86 architect, did a talk on the first day we were there and explained, talked about this in the Power Via stuff, which is another, the, the other big jump. The TLDR in his talk was they feel like this is going to be as impactful as FinFET was in the same kind of time scale. So it's like this first rev will be um, incremental and then we'll start to see big jumps again after uh, as they refine the process more and more. Yeah, somebody actually did during one of the roundtables ask if this is a tick or a talk. And then what does that mean? And then everyone had to figure out, wait, what what did? Yeah. Which one was a tick and which one was a talk? A bunch of tech <laughs> tech journalists and Intel architects <laughs> deciding that talk was the small one and tick was the big one was like, yeah, it was really funny. 